All right, so let's talk about what makes a good research topic. And the things that I'm going to talk through here are based on Rudenstam and Newton 2007. So first of all, the topic that you choose should sustain your interest over time. Your dissertation is not something that is just quickly done. You have to do a lot of reading and a lot of writing about it. So you want to choose a topic that um, is interesting to you and that will keep you motivated as you go through the process of writing and rewriting um, and analyzing your data. You want to choose a topic that's researchable and within your scope of influence. So think about the target population that you are considering um, collecting data from. Do you have access to them? Uh, do you have a site that you can work with that you can get the data from? Is there archive data out there um, on the particular topic that you're interested in? So think about how the feasibility of being able to conduct the study on the particular topic that you're interested in. You want to avoid topics that you are linked to emotionally, and there's a couple of reasons for this. One, it will introduce bias into your study. If you have an emotional perspective on a particular topic, um, the other piece is that sometimes when you are emotionally connected to a topic, you um, you will take a stand that may or may not be the right stand and position on how you want to conduct your study and it will close you off to some coaching that you might get from your dissertation committee because you're uh, emotionally connected to the topic and in such a way that you can't see other perspectives so just be cautious about choosing a topic we want you to choose something that you're interested in but be careful of choosing things where you it's related to a personal issue in your life or where you have an extra grind. Um, an example of this, when I first started my doctoral studies, I had a colleague come up to me and she said, oh, can you study why organizations promote people into management positions when they have no leadership skills? Uh, clearly she had an extra grind and had an issue, <laughs> um, but if the existing research doesn't suggest that future research is needed on that particular area, then it doesn't make sense for me to choose that topic and go down that path. So just be cautious as you're choosing your topics and thinking about your topics that you're avoiding anything that you're emotionally connected to. You want to choose a topic that's manageable within an allotted time period. Um, so anything that you might have to study over a long period of time or do a longitudinal study on, um, the effects of sleep, um, you know, the effects of, you know, childhood uh, first grade teacher practices on, you know, your high school years. Like those kinds of things are just, they don't make sense for a dissertation because you literally, you want to get your dissertation done. So think about a topic that you can do within a short amount of time, you know, cross sectional gather data at one point in time, uh, do your analysis and get your dissertation done. If there's something that is appropriate for your area of study and it requires a longer period of time, by all means do that. But just make sure that the topic you're choosing is manageable and appropriate for the time period for your degree and specialization. You want a topic that will allow you to make original contribution to the field with your study and allows you to develop mastery of the subject. And this actually goes with the next one. In some cases, there's subjects that have been studied a lot, um, but you can approach them from a new perspective, a different way, um, and that will create an original contribution to the field. My study was conducted on the differences of work engagement between virtual workers and those working in the office. Work engagement has been studied a lot. It's what I would call an old subject, but that I'm aware of, no one has conducted a study to look at the differences in engagement for those working virtually and those working in the office. So that was my way of approaching an old subject from a different way and providing an original contribution to the field. I mentioned this earlier um, a little bit, but 
choose a topic that's appropriate to your degree and specialization area. Um, clearly, this is something that you love doing, which is why you're going down a path of getting a doctorate in your particular degree and specialization area. This also ties to the first bullet here. Um, if you have a particular degree in specialization, you typically will tend toward a topic that you're interested in because it, it ties to your degree in specialization. So think about your topics, but make sure that it, it meets the requirements for your degree. And then last but not least, you want to choose a topic that addresses a real problem or a real question. Um, in another video that I do on defining your problem space, you want to think about it from different perspectives, from an organizational perspective, from a societal perspective. Is there a need for this study? Will it address or help address um, a real problem or a question and thus provide practical uh, recommendations for an organization or for future research, okay? So these are just some things to think about as you're thinking about your, uh, your research topic and trying to decide what will be a good research topic. So good luck to you, and I will see you in the next video.